Hey guys, Eugene here from Fusion Source. Nice to be back here again. Today we're going to show you how to level the bed on your 3D printer. This is one of the most important things you need to do with your 3D printer in order to get good quality prints. Your first layer is the most important. If that comes loose, everything is going to go wrong. So without any further ado, I'm going to show you exactly how to level a bed. The very first thing we want to do on this is we want to auto home the printer. So we want to get everything set to the right Z levels, your X and your Y. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into prepare and I'm going to go ah auto home. There we go. So we wait for it to auto home. There we go. Now it's set everything back to the right height. Your Z axis is set to the correct height. Everything is correct. So the next step we're going to do is we want to disable the steppers. In a future video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade this machine so that we can do the uh, assisted bed leveling. So now we go back down to prepare. We go to disable steppers. Now with that disabled, I can move my, my head around quite freely. Now the next step we want to do is we want to preheat the bed and the nozzle. You do this because there's a bit of an expansion on both things. It's very small, but when the tolerances we're working on, the thickness of a piece of paper, that can actually be quite large. So let's do that. So we go down and we go to prepare and we are going to go preheat PLA. And there we go. Now we wait for it to get up to temperature. So through the magic of, of movie making, right, we're up to temperature. Okay. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to bring the whole bed down as low as possible so that I don't force the nozzle into it by mistake. So we wind everything and you tighten the knobs. Okay, so lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. So we're going to turn it all right and we're going to tighten up nice and tight all the way to the to full tight. All right, this way we don't force the nozzle onto the bed. I'm going to bring our Y axis a little bit forward and our Z axis over. Now we just use a normal piece of A4 paper. I find cutting a, paper, a piece of paper from an A4 to A5 is easier. So we slot that under and we start to loosen this, this here until... Well, it's quite awkward doing it over it like this. Usually you stand in front of the printer, but for you guys, I'm doing it this way. Okay. Now, the paper is starting to catch. That's what we want. You see that? It's starting to catch a little bit and there we go. It's rubbing nicely. Okay. So once we've got the first point, we bring it over to our second point and we do the exact same thing. We loose it. Oh gosh, that was quick. There we go. It's just starting to touch. We're going to go a couple of passes on this. Yeah, there we go. Now we bring this all the way forward. Okay, and we do the same thing. And there we go. We've got it catching. Let's take it over. And this one's quite tight. Oh, oopsie. Let's loosen a bit. Loosen a bit. All right, there we go. Now it's catching nicely. Now we, we definitely are nearly there. Right, now we bring it back to the first point again. You'll notice that it's now quite tight. Because you've got a central axis here, it does a bit of a rocking motion. So when you start to loosen this side, it rocks this side and you get all sorts of funny things. So we have to go a couple of times. So now we're just going to tighten up a little bit. And now we want it to stick a little bit more. So you want it to get to, so you can actually feel it rubbing. It's a, you can actually feel it now rubbing quite nicely. A little bit tight about that okay so if i hold the paper very loose it doesn't move if i hold it tightly it does yeah that's what we want right so let's go across here oopsie daisy oh, this has now got too low okay. some technical difficulties all right let's go down again all right now i don't know if you notice there I'm trying to keep the paper underneath the nozzle the whole time because that makes it a lot easier to try get under because it slipped out there it was difficult nice and tight let's get it to our next point this is a little bit of adjusting you do get a very good feel for this over time as you're doing it and then we're going to go over across this one's got tight let's tighten up a bit Damn, the plate is hot. There we go. 
Right, let's go back to the beginning. That feels good. And that one we're just going to do a little bit. There we go. And there we go. That's it. Now that's it. Our bed is leveled. So now we can go to prepare auto home. And we are done. That's how to level a bed. It is that simple. It's really easy. It's something that you get very intuitive at and it's, it's, you get the feel. So you do that every, I'd say about eight to 10 prints and you've got it. You've done it. You've leveled your bed. Now you can ready for, you're ready for your first print. So we'll do our first print shortly and uh, that's it. So the next video will be showing you the first print. Thanks guys. Take care and see you soon.